Hi, here's how to make a very simple but effective stock portfolio value tracker in Google Sheets. And this will help you see the exact value of your full stock portfolio based on the current stock prices. And it's very easy to make this as you can do this without having a stock price API. And I've got the finished product here already. And as you can see, it's pretty basic, but you can easily expand on this idea. And the most important thing that I'm going to show you here is how to get the live stock market data. And it's actually really simple as Google Sheets has a built-in function to pull live stock market data from Google Finance. So let me show you how it works. So to start off, what I've done here is create a simple table in which you can list stocks or ETFs that you hold. So in the first column here, it's got the full name of the stock or ETF. And in the second column, it's got the corresponding stock tickers. And for this sheet to work, you will need to have the exact stock ticker in this format. So it has to start off with the exchange first. So for instance, NYSE ARCA, and then a colon, and then the ticker symbol. So for instance, VOO. So if you don't know the exact ticker, you can just Google the name of the stock and Google Finance will show you the ticker. So for example, if you Google the Vanguard 500 index fund ETF, it will list the stock ticker here. So you can copy that, but make sure to remove the space because the function we're going to use does not expect the space to be used. And I've got this function in the next column here. And this function will pull data from Google Finance to your Google Sheet. So in this case, we're using the most basic version of this function. So just type equal sign and then Google Finance in capital letters, an opening bracket and then C3 as that holds the exact stock ticker and then a closing bracket. So now this function looks up the latest price of this exact stock and displays it in cell D3. The Google Finance function can actually look up a lot more data than just the latest price. If you're interested in that, click the link in the description to find the full documentation on this function. There you can read what other data this function can display for you and how. But as you can see, it has already pulled up the current price and that seems to almost correspond with what is currently showing in Google Finance. And that's because the data in your sheet is not exactly live. And once you start to use this function, you will actually see a disclaimer appear on the bottom of your sheet. And that says that your data may be delayed by up to 20 minutes. Now, I'm not exactly sure how often the prices update and if it's even in a regular interval, but it has already updated a few times while I've had the sheet open. So it looks to be every few minutes or so, and it's never really far off from the actual live data. So it's good enough for the purposes of just tracking the value of your portfolio. So that's the current price. In the next column, you can add how many of the stocks you're holding. In this example, I've put the number five there. I've made the next column to multiply the number of stocks that you hold with the current stock price. So this gives you the total value that you hold in a specific stock. Now, just repeat these steps for all of the stocks or ETFs that you own. So I've got two more examples here. Just repeat what I've shown you for all stocks that you hold. And you can look up the exact stock tickers if you have to. So once you've repeated this, the value of all your stocks will be calculated. Then all that's left to do is to take the sum of those values to calculate the total value of your stock portfolio. So that's what I've done in cell F10 here. So the function for that is equal sign and then sum, then an opening bracket. And then you can select a range of cells that you want to take the sum of and then just uh, end with a closing bracket. Now, another thing that I'm personally interested in is to see the allocation by percentage. You can calculate that by dividing the value held in a particular stock by the total value of the portfolio. So in this case, it's F3 divided by F10. Now, make sure to set these cells to display their values in percentages. You can select that here. And this now allows you to see that this example portfolio has a 47% allocation in the Vanguard 500 index fund ETF. Now just to repeat this formula for the next rows as well. And then just as a check, I've got cell G10 to take the sum of all percentages. 
And this, of course, needs to add up to 100%, which it does. And that's it. A very simple but effective Google Sheet to track the value of your stock portfolio as well as the allocation. Uh, thanks for watching and if this was helpful don't forget to hit the like button and if you have any questions or comments you want to share make sure to leave a comment on this video.